If you'd like to get away from it all, we have just the information you need this morning. Have you considered a whitewater rafting trip? Joining us is Dan Schmier. We call him Dan the Travel Man. He's the head of All Star Cruises and Travel and a licensed travel agent, although I don't need to say that last part. Sorry. No, <laughs> take that off. Good morning, Dan. Good morning, Joel. What do you have for us in the line of whitewater rafting? Hey, whitewater rafting is an over-the-top experience. For any age group you want to go, if you're as young as three, as old as 90, if you can get into the raft, you can go. For the younger people, you can do class one, two, threes. For the older folks, you get up into the three, fours, and fives, and there are a couple places in the U.S. you can do a class six, which is a 20-foot drop. But what you're looking at right now is something called uh, surfing. They actually take those rafts and put them right into a, a gully area, and those guides can hold it there for up to five minutes. That's kind of a wild ride. Now, what you're looking at right now is about a three, four uh, class, and I'm in the front of that boat there. I'll wave at you here in a minute. But again, White West Virginia is our closest point for us here in the Midwest, about a 10-hour drive down. Prices are outstanding. You can do a day trip with lunch, everything included, for about $109, $119, somewhere in that range. Um, you can add in lodges, camping, all sorts of things. You can do a lot of other adventure type stuff. Um, zip lining, you can go four, four wheeling, rock climbing, all sorts of stuff. Make a weekend out of it. It's quite, quite, quite fun. Obviously, it, for people that are into thrills and adventure, I mean, that's the way to go, especially a if it's a nice day. Absolutely. Know? Let's get a busload going, Joel. You and I will take them on down and we'll do a weekend down there. Just be careful not to pop out of there, though. Right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you say you've been several times in West Virginia. Is that really the place to go? Yeah, there's actually the two most popular in the U.S. is the Grand Canyon and then West Virginia. But for us, because it's so close, a 10-hour drive is decent for a, a long weekend. Dan the Travel Man, he's on the radio on Saturday mornings on WFNT. You got it. 1230. Thank you, Dan.